Hi everyone. How's it going? Hi, good to see ya. So it's, when's the last time I recorded a Chantal video? It's been a while. We are transitioning out of Chantal, but yo, this is too good. This is too good. So I first off want to say <laughs> this whole drama from today is like something I would overhear people talking about in the waiting room at the methadone clinic. I'm not even kidding. Like I could hear this story being repeated at the methadone clinic. Like just let that sink in for a moment. Like this is some chaotic stuff. <laughs> chaotic. And honestly, I wish we could all just hang out together and just enjoy it together because this is delightful in the worst way possible. So, I mean, where do I start? Where do I start? Who cares if it's staged or not? But it, it can go either way. One, this is straight up something I would hear the girls at the methadone talk clinic talking about. And then so-and-so got the police involved. She, what? Yeah, she needed her CPAP machine back. What? And then I would go home and tell my husband, like, you will never guess the story I heard. <laughs> I mean, it's true, though. So, <laughs> I mean, this is some crackhead shit. So, <laughs> just like, <laughs> the whole time I'm watching this, I'm just cracking up laughing. I'm just like, this is next level drama. She, she is such an addict through and through. The reason I say she is is because I really do think she is addicted to this kind, the, this kind of um, chaos. Like chaos can be very addictive, especially when you're strung out on drugs like she is. And <laughs> she is. <laughs> um, and it can just, you get, you get hooked on it and everything in your life is chaotic and crazy and you're always the one being like, why is there so much drama in my life? Because <laughs> you like it that way. <laughs> she definitely does. Now, maybe when she was with BB, she had to keep it under wraps a little bit because BB wasn't into any of that. But now that she's, you know, free from him, she can just be however she wants and, and how she wants to be is fucking crazy. So have at it. Um, all of this for a CPAP machine, you guys. Like she got the cops involved for a busted up CPAP and some dirty underwear. She created a fuss, deleted his chat, unmodded people. What else did she do? De deactivated his phone, turned off his phone, excuse me, I'm sorry, turned off his phone, drove to his house, knocked on his door multiple times, being like, give me my shit back, sitting in her car in front of his place, and then calling the cops to come in and get her busted up CPAP and some dirty fucking underwear. Cool. <laughs> I hope you're proud of yourself. You're doing real good, sweetie. You're doing fine. <laughs> what the fuck, man? And the cops are just standing there awkwardly and... <sighs> My French sucks, too. I was trying to... If anyone could figure out what the cops were saying, because apparently Canadian French is just... <laughs> I wish I knew what they were talking about. It was probably small talk. Probably about the food and how's it going. <laughs> Wasting cops time too. I mean, you're gonna call the police for your busted up CPAP machine and some dirty underwear. That's what you're doing today. Did you wake up this morning and choose violence? <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> she woke up and she chose violence. Or, okay. Or did Pete's rub off on her from last night? Because man, I saw that and I, I watched it a couple of times. I'm not gonna lie, I was cracking up. Um, some of you might be disturbed by that, but that is just like the funniest shit. Um, and 
I couldn't see what exactly was said, but I, you know, I got the gist of it based off what Pete's had to say. And <laughs> man, get a grip. <laughs> time and then someone in his chat was like calm down and play with your ponies and I'm like you sure you want him to do that after what he's been accused of being and doing do you really want to say calm down and play with your ponies like I was like first I was like ew and I was like oh are they talking about his my little ponies and then that in itself is creepy so <laughs> anyways I don't wanna get into that, that is a lot, but that was funny. Anyway, so did did that anger, like, it was that anger like a cloud? Was it like a cloud sitting above Pete's head last night? And then the cloud was like, whoa, <laughs> gotta get out of here. And then it went over, it was like, who's this chick? And then it was like, oh, okay. And then it was like, ta-da. And what the fuck happened? <laughs> so, <clears throat> I can't believe she's losing her shit over this kind of loser. Can we just, can we just say, you're losing your fucking mind over this loser. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. <sighs> Anyways. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's great entertainment. I've been very much enjoying it. It's been a pleasure to my day to just be on my lunch break and sit in a live stream and laugh my ass off. I mean, it was great. I needed it. Thanks so much, Chantel. Really appreciate it. So yeah, I do think it's addict behavior. I mean, <laughs> I had some crazy shit happen to me. You wouldn't believe some of the drama that would happen to me. I don't know why, <laughs> but... <laughs> When you're on drugs, you're chaotic. <laughs> when you're addicted to drugs, life is chaotic. Life is crazy. And yes, shit like this does happen. Like, that sounds absolutely insane and it sounds, it makes perfect sense. Because you're gonna choose the insane thing over the, because doing the right thing is fucking boring. <laughs> Like, you need something to get your adrenaline pumping. Like, we love, especially if you're a tweaker, you love things that are going to get your adrenaline pumping. And one of those things is just rage. Rage is the best form of adrenaline. So, yes, I do. I, I truly could believe this is all not stage and she's just addicted to the adrenaline. She's just a little bit of an adrenaline junkie. The thing is stalking your boyfriend or sorry he's not even your boyfriend <laughs> he's not even your boyfriend but I guess there's something to be said about stalking your boyfriend and calling him multiple times and deleting his live streams and unmodding everybody and insulting Dee Dee and um real quick I gotta tell you guys a story um oh and I gotta show my my shirt can you see it? <laughs> I love this shirt. <laughs> Had it for years. G dubs. When I was, um, when I was drinking and using, I was living in an apartment with my boyfriend and then my boyfriend's friend moved in because we had a two bedroom apartment. So my boyfriend's friend moved in with us and he had the spare bedroom and he was seeing this chick. Uh, I don't remember her name, but I do remember that she was married <laughs> to another man and she was really wealthy and she was a raging alcoholic like my boyfriend's friend and, and he always like would every night after work he would come home with like a half rack of beer and like a bottle of liquor and it would be gone by the night. I mean, I helped, but you know, so she... <laughs> She reminds me of Dee Dee, and I don't know why, but every time I see Dee Dee, I'm like, holy shit, why do I keep thinking about this one lady? But I don't know if there's something, like, do they have something in common? I know Dee Dee's never been married or anything. It's not the married thing. There's just something that reminds me. And and the woman that, you know, I don't want to give out their names, you know, it's, they're not asking for that, but 
and it, I know they, they're not great people, we get it, but um, um, she just reminds me of her and I'm not sure why, but there was this <laughs> one night, my boyfriend's roommate, roommate, we'll just call him roommate to make it easier, and then his girl and girlfriend, we'll just roommate girlfriend. So he decided he got hella drunk and he decided he was gonna make her a gourmet dinner. And me and my boyfriend, we went to bed. And my boyfriend woke up at like three o'clock in the morning. The oven was on and the pot roast or whatever he was cooking was like some sort of beef. It was in the oven, the oven was still on. It was like a little brick. The stove was on, everything was burnt and fucked up and like, it was just a mess. It was a mess and there was shit all over the floor. Like, and they were having sex in our living room <laughs> with the music going. I don't know how I slept through this. I'm probably because I was passed out, probably because I was unconscious. And <laughs> they were having sex in the living room. <laughs> and my boyfriend walked in, he's like, Yo, man, you have a bedroom. <laughs> I have not thought of that woman in years until I saw Dee Dee. Anyways, I just wanted to share that. You know when you see someone and they remind you of someone and it's not good? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyways, it was a fun story to tell. So, I don't know. I guess if Dee Dee decides to stick around, maybe I could figure out what what it is that, re why she reminds me of girlfriend. So we'll see, time will tell. I I mean, honestly, if I'm gotta go with my gut instinct, but my gut instinct could very well be wrong. I'm sure Dee Dee has some problems too because she hangs out with this dude. And I'm sorry, no, but if anyone's friends with this guy, I just have to check your own sanity because he's he's a loser, I'm sorry. Lack of a better word, the guy is a loser. <laughs> through and through, he's a fucking loser. So if you're friends with him, it's not good for you. I would just enjoy the ride. Just enjoy it. I mean, enjoy the chaos. It's free entertainment. <laughs> I did most of my chaotic life in my early 20s. You are about to be 38 here soon. It's coming around the corner real quick, girlfriend, and you are acting a damn fool. You're 38. It's not cute. It's it's not even cute when a 20-year-old does it. It's just some addict shit. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> yes, I'm laughing the whole time. Yes, it's hilarious. Laugh because this is this is fun stuff. And it reminds me of why I don't drink or do drugs anymore, too. And if you're watching it and you're sober, too, remember, this is why we don't drink or do drugs, people. Drugs and alcohol are bad. They make you call the cops for your busted up shit that you don't even need. I, didn't he say her CPAP machine is broken? Girl. <laughs> okay. I need that broken thing. Anyways, that's it for me. Um, tomorrow, tomorrow I have a day off. So we are doing a coffee bees tomorrow, but going to a neighborhood. I've already decided and I've already decided on the coffee shop and I've decided on what scenic views you're going to get to see tomorrow. And I think we're starting off with a bang, but weather's not really that great. I was going to bring the dogs. But I feel bad because I like dogs love this neighborhood. But I just, uh, well, there's too shitty. So we'll just have to hold off on that for another day. Anyways, everyone stay tuned for Coffee Bees. We're not going to a drive through Starbucks, okay? It's not a Starbucks, I promise. All right, so everyone have a good night and um, let's get back to the shit show, shall we? All right, everybody, take care. Night.